Each year, the Idaho Housing and Finance Association holds a point in time count of the homeless population in Idaho. In 2013, in the Magic Valley, Wood River, and Minnekesha areas, there were 127 homeless counted. Ben Lida for Idaho's First News takes a closer look at what it's like to be homeless in the Magic Valley. I've gotten at least um, three dozen calls in a two-day time of people calling it and telling me the exact same story, that they're going to be homeless soon and what will they do. There are many reasons people become homeless. They may lose a job unexpectedly or become overwhelmed with debt. Fortunately, there are resources in place in the Magic Valley to assist those in need. One such place is the Valley House. We bring them into the Valley House. We help them get on their feet, we help them find better jobs, we help them get into permanent housing and um, hopefully never have to be homeless again. While the Valley House can help with shelter, other places like the Salvation Army can offer other services to those in need. We run a hot lunch program Monday through Friday, 12 noon straight up, just have to show up to eat and it's Good, nutritious, hot meal, no proof of need required. If you're humble enough to be here, we're happy to serve you. The Twin Falls School District works to identify students in need and how they can help to keep them in school and off the street. As of this morning, I've identified 154 students that fall under the category. Despite living situations, there are some students who are determined to receive an education. I interviewed a young man this week. He is working. He just came back to school to earn his credits, but he wants to graduate and he, he has enough money to pay for two weeks in a hotel. There's a, a large portion that live in various places around the community. They're living behind bushes, behind old buildings. They're living down in the canyon. As people fall in hard times, becoming homeless may not always come as an option, but for others, they have turned it into a way of life. I made the hike into Rock Creek Canyon to find where some people sleep, where I ran into Jay, who was homeless, and it has been that way for 18 years, and he wouldn't have it any other way. Jay explains what homeless life is like, both in Twin Falls and larger cities. However, he asked not to be on camera. All in all, there's about 40 homeless people in, in Twin Falls. The bigger cities, they have soup kitchens, actual uh, places to stay at night. They give up a lot more food and clothing. They don't know what they're going to do. They don't want their families to be out on the street. You know, maybe they have a vehicle, maybe they don't, but that's not a place to have your children in is a vehicle or even out on the street. The street should not be a place for anyone. The winter can get cold and dangerous. There are many hidden truths out there if you take the time to look. In Twin Falls, Ben Lida, Idaho's First News. Last year, the Salvation Army served 22,000 meals out of its kitchen.